And leaders in Portland's black community are receiving more anonymous letters containing racial slurs and also death threats. News Nation reporter Jennifer Dowling talked to one of these people who's been receiving them, in fact, for months. I want this terrorism to stop. Camila Adams is the owner of Mimi's Fresh Teas. She started receiving threatening letters filled with racial slurs this summer. My family and I, we keep getting re-traumatized re by this, these letters. The third and fourth landed in her mailbox yesterday with a kill list containing her name. It's almost like you're being hindered to fully live your life as a, as a, well, as a black woman. The most recent letters reading, has the defunded Portland police, Clark County Sheriff, U.S. Postal Inspectors made an arrest yet? Nope. I will never be caught. N-word lives don't matter. 2021 PDX and lives killing spree. Who I will kill. It continues to happen. It continues to come on our doorsteps. And Candace Avalos received a similar hateful letter a few weeks ago and is also on the kill list in Adam's letter. This person is clearly choosing to target both of us. It's a little bit like deja vu. Activist Gregory McKelvey has also been threatened on the kill list in both letters. Heart kind of sinks because you thought maybe it was just a, a one-off or um, just a, a one-time thing, but it looks like this person, you know, wants to keep it up and is taking pleasure sort of in the attention that they're getting from it. Adams co-founded PDX Love Over Hate, an organization that provides yard signs for those that want to show support for people of color. It's about supporting the community, uplifting, uplifting each other. The latest letters also threatened anyone with a PDX Love Over Hate sign in their yard will be shot. Adams says this won't stop the work. People are showing up again, so the love does outweigh the hate. And I can't stress that enough. Jennifer Dowling, News Nation, Portland.